Hey, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial. And today we are going to show you how to use key groups in MPC 2.0. With that said, let's begin. Now, if you look to the right of my screen, right over here, you'll see that I have three samples loaded up. No big deal, right? Now, on the drum pad, A1, that's the sound I have loaded up. If you look at our program selector up here, I'm on a drum program. As we covered in the other video, you have drum programs, key groups, plugins, MIDI, clip, CB, right? All right, let's go back to drum programs for a second. All right, this clip is on A1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to program edit. So it's much like it was in MPC 1.9.5, however, with a few minor differences, all right? After my program edit, I'm gonna switch this to key group. You can do it in the other way. You can switch this to key group first and then go to program edit, but those are the first two steps. You wanna switch this to key group, then you wanna to go to program edit. Now notice sample layers says none right now. So if you hit your keyboard, you may have saw the keys light up, but as of now, there's no sample on there. So let's say you have that first sample. All right, you see you have sound now. And if I go to middle C, that's the same sound from earlier. Now the cool thing about key groups is from here you could go ahead and mess with your sample layers some more. You can do some really funky stuff, mess with the filters, the modulations. So then if you have an 808, you can really make your 808 sound really unique. So let's say you load up this 808. Now notice when I switch the sound, all these up here change too. It changed to match the sound because it's mapped across your drum machine too. So if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you can go ahead and use your drum machine and just tap on the pads. As long as you know how it's laid out, semitones, all that music, yeah, all that music theory stuff. Excuse me. So yeah, go back up to middle C, and then that's our original drum sound. So. So basically, key group programs like this lets you use an 808. Uh, any way you kind of want so that you don't have to go to pad perform or if you don't have a MIDI keyboard you can still use your drum controller in the same way you would use a keyboard so from there if you wanted to you could layer this with another sound all right and notice that second sample appeared when we layered that other sound so then with that man you've got like a really dope kick that you can start out with and make a dope track with then if I add that other one, all right, and that's pretty much it. That's how you use key groups. And if you want, you can still go back to your main screen. Your key group will be there. So this looks like D13 is actually middle C. And if you're done with your key group, then you could just go to another track, go down here, and then you could just go back to a regular drum program and then your drum program from earlier will still be there. You can go back to your original sound and you are good to go. And that my friends is how you use key groups in MPC 2.0. So don't forget to hit us up at drum machine addicts at gmail.com. If you guys have any questions, also don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend, haha, <laughs> tell a friend to tell a friend it's drum machine addicts and we are out. See you next week. Peace.